let's face it. The Red Bull seat is more or less guaranteed for Perez next season. At the beginning of the season, Perez told the media that it would take him five races to get into the full grips with the car. Little did we know that he will go ahead and win the sixth race of the season. Granted, it was because Max crushed out and Hamilton went wide on turn one. No one can take away that win away from Perez. But let's not kid ourselves. Chances of Perez winning the World Drivers' Championship this year is close to zero. But that makes me wonder, will this underrated driver with a knack of consistency ever win a World Championship? Sergio Perez has had a long career in Formula 1. We could clearly call him a veteran of the sport. From 199 race starts, he has 775 points, including 11 podiums and 2 wins. Starting at Sauber in 2011, he had a short stint at McLaren in 2013, then 7 years in Force India Racing Point and finally the dream seat of Red Bull Racing. He showed his talent from the beginning of his career, beating Kobayashi in championship points in 2012. As a Sauber driver, he was part of the Ferrari Driver Academy. But when he joined McLaren in 2013, his association with Ferrari ended. In 2013, replacing Lewis Hamilton in McLaren, Perez had a very tough year. He never finished in podium, fifth in the Indian Grand Prix being his best performance of the season. He was also criticized heavily by his teammate Jensen Button and by Kimi Raikkonen for being unnecessarily aggressive. 2014 marked the beginning of a long stint for him in Force India. With Hulkenberg on his side, he built the team that became a solid midfield outfit famous for being frugal but efficient. In a way, the way Force India worked was remarked as the opposite of McLaren which spent a lot of money but that got them nowhere. 2015, Perez has been consistently beating his teammates in head-to-head. On track, he matured as well, extracting maximum performance out of a midfield car and becoming an expert in fuel and tire management. So, we have established the fact that Sergio Perez is an excellent driver and fully deserving of the Red Bull seat that he holds currently. But the real question is, is this really the top of his career? Could he take this one step further by finally winning the driver's championship? There are a couple of factors that we need to consider here. Number one. Sergio Perez is no doubt an incredible driver, but he is by no means the best driver on the grid currently. To name a few, outside of Lewis Hamilton, Max and George are a level above Sheko when it comes to pure talent. Number 2. He is definitely in a car capable of winning championships, but his teammate, who happens to be the championship contender, is also in that same car. Unless Max moves from Red Bull, which seems unlikely, it would be difficult for Checo to beat Max consistently. Number 3. Chances are that Russell would move to Mercedes very soon. When he does, depending on what form Mercedes will be at that point of time, it would be difficult for Checo to beat Russell consistently even with Max moving out of the Red Bull seat. Number 4. We do not know for sure yet what impact the regulation change will have on the team's performance. Winning constructors this year 
would put Red Bull at a disadvantage for the development of the car next year. That means we could see Red Bull struggling next year. All that said, Checo needs a lot of luck and coincidence to be in the contention for Drivers World Championship. If Max moves to another team and underperforms, if Mercedes starts declining, if Red Bull continues to grow, and if he gets a teammate who would ease into the number two driver role, we might just see Checo winning the championship. Seeing Gasly and Checo win races was the most memorable scenes of last year. We all want to see more underdog stories. Checo has more than earned that seat in a car capable of winning championships. But winning championship itself may not be something in his hands. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel if you like to watch similar content. And stay tuned to I Am Formula for everything Formula 1. Until next time, take care and stay safe.